and welcome back to the channel guys um, thanks for tuning in so today I'm in Wales at the Gigerin Red Kite Feeding Centre um, yeah it took about three and a half hours to get here roads are a nightmare through Wrexham yeah just roadworks everywhere so that wasn't fun but anyway it's an absolutely beautiful day here there's no wind blue skies absolutely fantastic um, so yeah, so I'm here photographing the red kites. Hopefully gonna get loads of videos, loads of good photos. I've already seen a dozen already. Um, even on the way in over the top, so there, there were red kites in the fields and circling overhead. Um, so yeah, so absolutely beautiful day today. I'm really, really gonna enjoy this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, at the end of the video, I'll be giving one lucky viewer a chance to come here and get in one of these photographic hides uh, for free so I'll be purchasing a voucher to the value of about £30 which will get you into the gateway hide here which is pretty low level um, but you can obviously upgrade that voucher if you wanted to and go into one of the more expensive or higher vouchers here that they've got in the centre. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a little walk around and show you the area um, show you inside the hide um, and then we'll uh, wait for the feeding to commence which I believe is uh, quite a spectacle. Um, you can even be overwhelmed by the amount of birds that come in and the noise that they make. Um, so yeah, so you basically come here from about half past 12, the gates open and you can stay till five o'clock. Um, so the initial feeding starts at two and then they'll all come in. It apparently works on a hierarchy. Um, so the feeding, so the hierarchy birds will come in first to feed and it'll be a mass frenzy and then they'll sort of have what they want um, and then the younger uh, red kites I assume will then come in for their feeding which will be a little bit more uh, a little bit less frantic should I say um, to the adults coming in so yeah so let's have a little walk around and there's kites in the air already so let's go have a look Welcome to the hide guys. So here we are and this looks over the feeding area where the kessels will come once the chap comes round and feeds them with a shovel and a load of meat on the back of his tractor. So yeah so that should be quite a spectacle to see. Um, so yeah so I'm gonna put my gear down in the hide We've got a security lock on the door, so I'm quite happy just to put my stuff down, take my camera and go and have a walk around the rest of the centre. So let's go do that. So yeah, let's take a walk around. So as you can see, we've got a high tower high up there that overlooks the red kite feeding area. And another one here. I chose for the the lower hide um, just so I could get them feeding on the ground and a little closer ideally um, I suppose if you come a few times then uh, you can select different hides as you're going along so we're just going to take a walk up to the center now in the area and see if there's any red kites flying around I say it does get busy with a lot of visitors so be sure to book your hide. And um, the one I'm in only allows three photographers in there. So yeah, that should be just just about right, I think. 
I'm just going to turn the brightness down on this, bring up my just a little bit darker. There we go. So we're just going to walk down to the visitor centre now. As you can see, we've got a bit of a car park here on the right. And lots of people. You're even allowed to bring your dogs if you want. As long as they're kept on a lead. Um, but the surrounding views are absolutely fantastic. So yeah, you could bring the family, come for a picnic. We've got a gift shop in here. And a coffee shop so you can get something to eat and drink. And buy some souvenirs. Um, so yeah, so I've come during the uh, school holidays in half term, so it's a little bit busier than you'd expect it to be normally. Well, we've got the visitor centre. Okie doke. Sorry about that guys. Battery died. Um, yep. Typical. Halfway through something and you forget to check the battery on your camera. Don't worry, I've climbed a mountain and uh, realised that uh, I'd left the batteries in the car. So I had to stash everything. Do about a 45 minute walk back down and back up with the batteries. So anyway, I've come back down, obviously get the batteries and we've already got the red kites in the air. We're half an hour away from feeding time. So let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here. And you can see those kites circling in the air. Like I say, they are everywhere. Focus is a bit hit and miss. They're being so far away. So we've got some fantastic views here. Let's zoom out. You can see right across the valley. Absolutely fantastic location. Absolutely splendid. So yes, yeah, so the red kites um, were extinct back in the 17th century. About 1890, something like that. So there were no red kites recorded in England or Scotland at all. Um, and just a few pockets um, of them just left here in Wales. Uh, since then um, there's been a big increase in the numbers as now a protected bird and poaching and the pinching of eggs has been banned. So yeah so it's really nice to see. I think the what I think the numbers are 1800 breeding pairs in the UK at the moment. So that's really really impressive. Um, but yeah, they are everywhere and it's only going to get busier. So this is really nice. So let's take a trip back to the hide and get set up and see if any come in early to the feeding area. Okay, so yeah, it's a bit bright with the sun this afternoon. Nothing I can do about that at the moment. I should use automatic mode, but I'm such a manual person that everything I do is in manual mode. Um, so yeah, there's 15 minutes before they come out with the food. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to throw pictures and videos up throughout this video um, and, and talk when I want. I've got two other people in the hide with me, so I don't want to be disturbing them. Um, but lots of other people in the in the free hides. So what I'm going to do is just do some videos, do some pictures, do the first hour, um, just enjoy that myself. Um, and then when I make the video, I'll throw some pictures and, and videos up. And then afterwards um, we'll take another walk around and I'll go through a few details of the, the area and the uh, opportunities to get a free visit, a free pass to one of the photography hides um, at the end of the video. So stay tuned guys and I will see you later on. Okay, so this is the view from outside of the hide. And so we've got a camera and a hot chocolate set up ready. And this is the area in which the red kites will be fed. And you can see we've got further hides all the way around here.
top stuff.
Well guys, that was amazing. Um, yeah, there must have been a couple of hundred red kites at least um, coming in, grabbing the meat, some on the floor, just eating it. I think those are the younger ones. Um, but yeah, absolutely, what an experience that was. And I've only been here, well, feeding for an hour and a half and there's still plenty of uh, meat on the floor and they keep congregating every 20 minutes or so coming in having some food and flying off and going to sit in the trees um, and then the crows will come in and the red kites will fly down and scare them off again um, but yeah what a fantastic uh, experience that is highly recommended and the pictures that you see on through this video and the ones I'm going to show now unbelievable absolutely crystal clear shooting around 4,000th of a second ISO probably three to six hundred uh, anything from f4.5 to f8 um, but yeah absolutely fantastic so I'm just gonna head up towards the car and uh, see if anything's happening on the way back focused in on me um, so I'm just stood here behind this lamp post in the shade um, just wrapping this video up guys what a fantastic day I know it took me three and a half hours to drive here about three and a half hours to get back so yeah it's a bit of a drive but well worth it just the experience seeing these birds coming in and the speed that they come in at it's just phenomenal swooping down and grabbing the meat off the floor it's just yeah, you blink you missed it absolutely um, so yeah so if you want to uh, grab yourself a uh, free pass here for one visit then just tell me what color was the farmer's shovel that he used to throw the meat out of the back of the uh, tractor with uh, just put your comments in the uh, put the answer in your comments below should I say um, obviously this is only to people here in the UK um, I can't fly you out from Australia or, or America um, unless you're coming over um, but yeah what a great day and so what I'll do is I will announce the winner in the next video um, and then I'll get in touch with you and send you over the voucher or the pass for this place and you can come anytime through the year I think it's valid for up to 12 months so you will have plenty of time to pop to Wales and come and spend the afternoon here photographing some wonderful kites um, so yeah absolute great day guys thank you very much please like and subscribe I know I keep going on about it in every video but subscriptions do help an awful lot um, so I think the next one will be in Mull um, I am planning on doing a video on flash photography so photographing birds with flash that is coming up um, it pro is probably be after mall now so probably in a few weeks I'll, I'll get around to doing that um, but yeah looking forward to doing that as well I'm going to do it to really start off very basic with just a flash on top of my camera for those people that that's all the have.